right, here we are back again. Um, now we have a fully functional desktop uh, with Wi-Fi and everything working on it. And, and we want to do something. We want to, you know, install some some programs. How do we do that? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can go over and open up your terminal terminal emulator, and you can go through and you can you know install things manually off a of command prompt but you know that's to me it's a lot of guesswork because you know in Linux you have a repository and this runs off of the um, the Jesse repository Debian Jesse repository and you know it's kind of a hit and miss well what's there well right now we're sitting here with a blank screen going well what do we, what can we do and that leads you to using a package manager. Now there's many different package managers out there. Uh, there's Pac-Man, there's uh, I don't even know how many, I just know the ones that I like using the most. And I've gone through and used many many distributions throughout the years. Uh, does anybody remember Mandrake? How about uh, Caldera? Anybody remember Caldera? <laughs> so yeah, that gives you an idea how long I've been doing this since 1998. So uh, anyway my favorite one since all that time has got to be Synaptic. Uh, as far as using uh, any kind of Debian based system, uh, Debian, Ubuntu, or any of those variants, uh, to me Synaptic is my all-time favorite. Uh, I know there's many others out there and people have different preferences and that's fine. Uh, you know, but to me using Synaptic is the best thing. So I went ahead and tried it and it does work on this just fine. So what you need to do is you need to put in a terminal, open up a terminal, and you need to put in sudo sudo apt-get install synaptic. And you're going to hit enter, and what's going to happen is it's going to ask you for a password. Put in your password for your user, and it's going to pull it all up. Now, mine's already at the, uh, the newest version. But it'll come up and it'll say, you know, uh, if you haven't installed it yet, it'll say, you know, 17 files to install whatever you want, yes or no, you hit yes, and away it goes. Now, once you get Synaptic installed, you just simply go over here to your Applications menu, and you go down here to your system, and there is Synaptic Package Manager. Click on that guy, and uh, put in your password. And here we go. We can now do many different things. Uh, number one, first thing you want to do is you want to hit reload. Upper left hand corner, hit reload. What that's going to do is that's going to query uh, the repository and update all of the index files. So you will know exactly every version uh, that's available in the repository and all of the, you know, what's there. Okay, now once that's finished, should take a minute here. Okay, now once that's finished, before you install anything, you want to make sure that the current, all your current files are the most current. So you want to go to mark all upgrades, which is the next button over. Click on that. Okay, now see the little apply here is still grayed out so that means that this is all up to date now I've already done this because this is a, a long process it takes a little while probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes it's not worth recording so mark your mark all upgrades and then hit apply and then it'll ask you if you really want to do this blah 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 and once all that's done then you're at this point right here so now we want to see what can we actually do now over here in the left hand side is a column of all kinds of different things uh, just tons and tons of stuff so what we want to do maybe do some gaming or something um, I don't know let's see if Cody's available because that's one of the things that I wanted to mess with I heard it's not exactly the best in this but let's just see is Cody available and we'll do a search and we'll see if Cody's available in the repositories and Cody is available in the repositories <clears throat> okay so let's see uh, 
we want to do, first of all, we're going to install Kodi, mark for installation. Now it's going to add, it's going to come up with all of the necessary uh, required files that you need to go along with it. And you're going to say, okay, sure, that's great. I want all that. So it's going to bring in all of that stuff. Now, the add-ons, that's for development. We don't necessarily need that. Um, you know, for right now, I don't think we're going to add anything else in. Okay, so we're going to bring, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on apply, and that's going to install all of our files for Kodi. So there's 38 new packages. We're going to click on apply, and it's going to download all the package files. And the wireless is running pretty decent. Uh, it's not too bad a speed at all. Okay, files are downloaded. Now it's going to install them. And this is where it can take a little bit of time because now it's running off the processor. But this is a quad core processor, and I believe they said either 1.2 gigahertz or 1.5 gigahertz per core. So it's not it's not too bad. It's actually running fairly decent. Now I know there was uh, there's distributions like Open Elec um, that uh, basically co it's, it's basically Kodi, um, which is uh, used to be called Xbox Media Center, uh, but now it, of course they want to drop the Xbox, so they called it Kodi. Uh, extremely extremely good uh, program. It, it, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and it's one of my all-time favorites. Okay, changes the plot. So we're going to close this. We got Cody installed, and let's just see if Cody will work now. And wait for this to finish doing its thing. There we go. Close it out. Let's go over here to multimedia. There is Cody Me Cody Media Center. So let's see if this will work. Sounds like there's an audio issue. Okay. Let's go over here, video files. Okay. Files, let's add video. What on earth has happened here? Okay. Add videos. Let's see if we can access any, anything on the network. Let's see, SMB, nothing there. Oh, my main system's down right now. Alright, well that's not going to work. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, Here are some audio problems, which is one of the things that um, I had read. Oh, we just stopped. No, nope. stopped momentarily. Let's see if it might be something with the HDMI. Okay, well, Cody does work, but there sounds like an audio issue, uh, which is one of the things that I read about, but it's also being worked on. So, okay, so Cody is installed. So that's something to play around with. All right, what about some, uh, some games? We want to do some games. So let's go over here. Let's go back to Synaptic. back to synaptic um, 
Let's look up something for em let's look up some emulators. All right, let's go, so let's go to Mame. Let's see if there's a good front end for Mame. Okay, so there is a. Let's just do Mame. Extra. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do mess. And we'll do the video arcade. And we will install all of that. Oops. Apply. Okay, now we've finished with that. So let's see if that worked. Okay, close that out. Now we should be able to go over to games. Now we have MAME, we have MESS. And we have GNOME Arcade, or GNOME Video Arcade. Let's see if, let's see what happens when we do main. It doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, which I didn't expect it to. All right, so let's go to GNOME Video Arcade. All right. Alright, yep, there's no ROMs right now. There's no nothing. So we can go through here. And it looks like we did have some ROMs. It looks like it would work. Awesome. And let's go down to see about mess. I don't know if it has, no, I don't think these have uh, GUI interfaces. I think I'm going to have to use GNOME Video Arcade to access those. But anyway, that's how you can get apps installed on this. And there's many different things. It doesn't have to be, you know, games or anything like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff. It's just, it's far easier to use a package manager such as Synaptic. Uh, to find uh, any programming packages you want to do, um, you, know, you want to install. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is I want to be able to use the GPIO pens, and I didn't know. Let's see if there's anything for GPIO. Let's see if there's anything for using the GPIO ports on this thing. It's entirely possible. There we go. Uh, here's some LED utilities. Um, I, I don't know if this would work. This doesn't look quite like what I thought it would be. And GPIO signaling. Um, 
this looks like it's for something else so I don't know I mean not everything works but uh, if if there was a uh, something in uh, like for example um, you know using other other types of packages you can always go down to your repositories uh, up in settings and you can add to new ones uh, if you find some packages that you want to you know install from uh, it's simple just to add it to this and um, you know like right now it's just running off of straight you know your your Debian um, stuff and of course your Armbian uh, repository as well as your standard De Debian repositories so you can add to it take away do whatever you want to but it's a simple way of uh, you know um, adding packages into your system but in any case um, that's a simple way of doing it I hope this guys this helps you guys out um, you know, um, I know a lot of people may not may not be too familiar with how this stuff works, um, but like I said, this is the this is what I consider the simple way. Uh, there are many other ways of doing it, and I know there's some that may be more, far more efficient, or whatever the case may be. But for somebody just coming in wanting to get something done with you know, and not have to invest hours and hours and hours and learning scripts and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, this is by far the easiest. So. I hope this is something that you liked. If so, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumb down and let me know why. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.